In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install DirectX 12 onto your computer. So there's essentially two different ways to go in and install DirectX 12. The first method is by using the Windows Updater on your computer. So if you head over to the Start menu and open up Settings, click on Windows Update in the left-hand side, and then click on the Check for Updates button. Typically, any updates to DirectX are going to be included in the official Windows Update. So as long as you're computer is fully up to date this should give you the most up-to-date version of DirectX. Now you can check your DirectX version by coming over to your start menu searching for run and clicking on the run icon. In the search box type in DX DIAG and press enter and then go and press yes. Now from this window underneath system information you'll be able to find it your DirectX version right at the bottom of this screen. So if you are running DirectX 12 it means it's already installed onto your computer. If it still says DirectX 11 here then we may need to go and install this manually. So we can do that by opening up an internet browser. In the search box type in DirectX web installer and press enter. Now click on the top website which is microsoft.com this end user runtime web installer and go and press the download button at the bottom of this screen. Now that's going to appear in your downloads folder and we can simply open up this application, agree to the terms and conditions and press next. Uncheck the box next to install the Bing bar and press next again. And then just give that a couple of seconds while it installs this to your computer. Once it's finished, you can close out of this window. Now you can head back over to your start menu and search for run once again. We're gonna type in DXDIAG once again and press enter. And you can check to see if your DirectX version has now up updated to number 12 and it's as simple as that guys if you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next one